Babe of the day. Babe of the day. Yvonne Craig. She was a familiar face in the 1960s, but Batgirl will always be her signature role. This is not a bad thing to be remembered for. Yvonne was certainly one of the highlights of the Batman TV series. She was extremely feminine and looked good in her tight purple costume. Batgirl was also a positive character. I hate saying things like a good role model for girls because I think she was a good role model for anyone. As far as the Batman TV series goes, I'm not a great fan. There were some cool things about it, but I never thought it was a good interpretation. The women were hot and the Batmobile was cool, but Batman was never meant to be that corny. I would watch the Batgirl parts. I don't think I'm the only one. If Yvonne would have had things her way, she may have become a world famous ballerina. At 17 years of age, in 1954, she became a professional ballerina and stayed one for three years. This training is something that would ultimately be useful when she played Batgirl years later. Things didn't work out with her company though, and she left in 1957. She wanted to continue her career as a dancer, but kept getting acting roles. As early as 1958, Yvonne started appearing on television and in big shows like Perry Mason. Interesting enough, in her Perry Mason episode, Neil Hamilton played her stepfather. Almost a decade later, Neil Hamilton played Commissioner Gordon on the Batman series, who was also Batgirl's father. She couldn't escape that guy. In 1959, she started getting film roles. They weren't always big parts, but she got visibility and it helped her throughout the 60s. Her highest profile roles, before Batgirl, were probably her two Elvis films. It happened at the World's Fair in 1963 and Kiss and Cousins in 1964. But she had a lot of credits and was great in all of them. Check them out! In 1967, Yvonne Craig landed her most famous role of Batgirl on the Batman TV series. Ironically though, she wasn't a girl anymore at 30 years of age. She still looked younger because she was pretty and petite, but girl wasn't exactly accurate. A lot of people don't realize that Batgirl was originally intended to have her own series. A pilot was made and can still be found and watched. The idea was to feature Batgirl in her own show as a lead with occasional characters from the Batman series popping in. Batgirl herself would show up in the Batman series from time to time. They were going to make a regular habit of crossovers. The plan fell through though and Batgirl just became a regular character in the Batman series. It would have been interesting to see Batgirl in her own series back then. Would it stay as corny as the Batman show? Or would it have taken on its own straightforward identity? If the Batgirl series wasn't a carbon copy of Batman, it could have worked. Batgirl only appeared in the third and final season of Batman for just 26 episodes. However, Batgirl became very iconic and is still fondly remembered by fans of the show. Batgirl was brought into the show at the same time she was brought into the comic books. DC Comics had an earlier but different character of Batgirl that did not take years earlier. They didn't just retool the Batgirl character, they came out with an entirely new character and just called her Batgirl. Batgirl on TV may have been short-lived, but her comic book counterpart became the most successful version of Batgirl in comic book history. I do think that Yvonne's portrayal of Batgirl helped the popularity of the character in comics. DC has occasionally tried to come out with new Batgirl characters, but it always goes back to the Yvonne Craig Barbara Gordon version of Batgirl. Yvonne reprised the character of Batgirl in a 1974 public service announcement about equal pay for women. She would have been 36 or 37 at the time she filmed it and still looked like she did on the series. It was as if time hadn't stopped, and the world changed quite a bit from 1968 to 74. 
Her acting career largely ended in the early 1980s, but she did take on some roles, even voice acting, on rare occasions. And she was rarely out of the public spotlight. Yvonne liked the Batgirl character, and you would see her on different talk shows and things that celebrated the Batman show. With her great looks and ladylike demeanor, Yvonne Craig always was, and always will be, Babe of the Day! Babe of the Day! Thank you.